It's time for the biggest party of the summer. Welcome everyone to SummerSlam. We come to you tonight from Nashville, Tennessee, and we are kicking things off with the Intercontinental Championship match. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. And here comes L.A. Knight. And what a reaction for L.A. Knight here in Nashville. L.A. Knight set to challenge J.D. McDonough for the Intercontinental title here this evening at SummerSlam. L.A. Knight called out J.D. McDonough three weeks ago on SmackDown. J.D. McDonough would go on to accept the challenge. And so tonight it will be L.A. Knight one-on-one -on -one with J.D. McDonough for the Intercontinental Championship. But Hell in a Cell, it was a triple threat situation with the addition of the show-off, Dolph Ziggler. L.A. Knight was unsuccessful in that triple threat match, but tonight he goes one-on-one -on -one with McDonough. And here comes the champion. He is the Irish Ace. He is the Intercontinental Champion. There is JD McDonough. It was a clash at the castle when J.D. McDonough, in a shocking turn of events, defeated the King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, to become the inaugural Intercontinental Champion here in Universe Mode. It was a moment that I don't think many saw coming, but the Irish Ace has proved himself as the Intercontinental Champion thus far. Tonight he defends against LA Knight. Will we crown a new champion here this evening in our first matchup of the night? LA Knight, of course, the fan favorite. But he takes on a very game, JD McDonough. He has definitely proven himself worthy of holding that championship around his waist. Tonight, though, it could all be over for the Irish Ace. His luck may be about to run out. Introducing the challenger from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 240 pounds. And introducing the champion from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, J.D. McDonough. J.D. McDonough getting set to defend the Intercontinental Championship against L.A. Knight. And again at Hell in a Cell, it was JD McDonough defending against Dolph Ziggler and LA Knight. And McDonough was able to retain the championship. Will tonight prove different as he goes one on one with LA Knight? There's the bell. We are now underway here at SummerSlam. First matchup of the evening. And McDonough out of the gate with the Urinagi. Oh, but Knight retorts with a kick right to the back of the leg. And McDonough gets sent to the outside. LA Knight ready to go here this evening. But McDonough catches him with a shot to the face. And there's another one. And McDonough with the strikes now. But LA Knight caught him with a shot to the chest. McDonough trips him up. And there's the big four. 
Back and forth in the early going. As now LA Knight, oh, sent right into the official. And McDonough takes advantage. Poison Rana drops LA Knight, and now the Camel Clutch is cinched in. Submission maneuver early on by the champion. What is LA Knight gonna do? He manages to fight out. And now the challenge off. Plants McDonough. Side slam for the victory. And a kick out at one. Oh, there's a big knee to the skull. And JD McDonough is picked back up to a vertical base. And look at Knight go. Taking it to the champion. Now McDonough with a striking combination of his own. Spanish fly into the cover to retain and LA Knight kicks out at one and now Knight picked back up to a vertical base jawbreaker by McDonough and the Irish Ace in control as he reminds the entire WWE Universe who he is and McDonough with the tornado kick Trying to retain the championship once again here. Shoulders down on LA Knight. But Knight able to get the shoulder up before the count of three. And now JD McDonough looking for the devil inside. And he connects. McDonough to retain the Intercontinental title. Kick out at two. LA Knight remaining in this contest. And already the WWE Universe on their feet. As McDonough, no, LA Knight reverses. And Knight with a nice combination. LA Knight getting fired up here at SummerSlam. He could be closing in on the championship. But JD McDonough lands a big four off. Oh, and there's a chap right to the face. McDonough just faked out the challenger. And Knight gets sent back into the corner. But again, Knight gets out of the way. And now LA Knight sets up the champion. Sunset Driver. To become Intercontinental Champion near fall. Close, but not quite enough to become Intercontinental Champion. But now LA Knight, slingshot shoulder tackle. And the WWE Universe firmly behind LA Knight. And now Knight went for the clothesline, catches a kick to the gut. And McDonough drives him into the corner. And now the Irish Ace. Shotgun drop kick, driving Knight into the turnbuckle. And now from the top right, JD McDonough went for the moonsault. Knight got out of the way. And LA Knight from behind. The challenger looking for the BFT. JD McDonough countered. And there's an Insiguri. Great retort by LA Knight. As he just slams McDonough back first into the canvas. Is LA Knight closing in? Missed out with the drop kick. And JD McDonough takes advantage. Another striking combination there by the champion. And the strikes just keep on coming. And the challenger in some trouble right now. McDonough utilizing that top rope to his advantage. And now the second rope as well. LA Knight just being choked by the Irish Ace and now looking for the Cloverleaf. LA Knight's in trouble. The Cloverleaf is locked in. JD McDonough to remain Intercontinental Champion right here. But LA Knight fights out of it. Separation once again made. As now McDonough gets sent into the corner. And LA Knight with some back elbows. 
led to the skull of the champion. And it's LA Knight once again closing in on capturing the Intercontinental title. LA Knight looking for something. McDonald over there for the forearm. And again he went for that jab. LA Knight with the right hand. And now Knight, no. McDonald with a boot to the face. And the Irish Ace is looking for the devil inside. LA Knight this time was able to pass. And there's another right to the face of the champion. BFT, McDonough reverses. And now JD McDonough with that striking combo once more. McDonough now closing in on retaining his title. Spanish fly. And now that sets off LA Knight. JD McDonough from the high rent district. Went for the double footstop, rolls through, and LA Knight catches him with a closed line. Another right hand to the face of the champion. JD McDonough is reeling. There's a boot. And now McDonough getting back up to his feet. LA Knight was ready and waiting. Suplex into a neck breaker. Oh, but McDonough was one step ahead. LA Knight blocking the jab. And now the WWE Universe may be about to witness a brand new Intercontinental Champion. LA Knight off the Bulldog. Lying in wait. Measuring the champion. But wait a minute, McDonough. Small package. Shoulders down on LA Knight. And he almost had it. LA Knight remaining in this matchup once again. McDonough went for the devil inside. BFT by LA Knight. Come on, the count. We have a new Intercontinental Champion. Tonight, everyone saying the name L.A. Knight. Welcome back, everyone, to SummerSlam. It is now time for tag team action, as here come Imperium. Introducing the challengers, accompanied by Gunther, at a combined weight of 440 pounds, Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser, Imperium! <laughs> Imperium are set to take on the New Day for the WWE Tag Team titles here at SummerSlam. And as of late, we have seen a new side of Imperium. Imperium no doubt already for this matchup here this evening. Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser are ready to go. And here come the champions. Introducing the champions at a combined weight of 417 pounds. They are the WWE Tag Team Champions. Xavier Woods and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. 
The New Day lost Met Imperium inside of the squared circle on the season premiere of Friday Night Smackdown. The New Day, of course, were able to retain their WWE Tag Team titles and they have now held those titles for over 100 days. It has been an amazing reign thus far for the New Day. But will it come to an end here tonight at SummerSlam at the hands of Imperium? WWE Tag Team titles are about to be put on the line in our second match here at the biggest event of the summer. The New Day versus Imperium is almost underway as the champions put up for grabs their 100 plus day title reign. And it looks like Giovanni Vinci will start things off with Xavier Woods. There's the bell, here we go. And Xavier wasting little time. Oh, what a gut buster to begin. Into the cover on Vinci. Referee though way out of position. And that will allow Vinci to kick out before the one count. Kick to the midsection now and here comes Vinci. And check out the power already on display by Giovanni Vinci. And he is feeling it. Boot now to the face of Xavier Woods and there's another one to follow. And Woods will be picked back up to his feet. And Vinci with a spine buster into the cover once again and he gets a one count. Bad start here so far for the champions. Imperium are in full control right now. And Vinci walking over the arm of Xavier Woods. Oh, and now he switches focus to the leg. An all-out assault here by Giovanni Vinci. What a power slam. And Woods made the tag. In comes Kofi Kingston. Went for the clothesline. Vinci able to block it. And now looking for the power. One was Vinci. Kofi though. Turns it into a pinning predicament. Kick out at one. And now Vinci with the cover. Kick out at one by Kofi as well. Back and forth between these two teams. Reverse DDT by Kingston. And Kofi went for the knee. Nobody home. And now Giovanni Vinci sends Kingston into the corner. And now he just puts the boots to Kofi Kingston. Kofi though retorts with a kick to the back. And here comes Kofi, but he gets tripped up. And now Kofi Kingston picked back up to a vertical base. Giovanni Vinci, rolling Death Valley Tribal. And could that be enough to win the tag team titles? In comes Woods. And Woods providing a distraction there. Giovanni Vinci switching focus to go after him, but Woods Caught Vinci with a shot in the face. Oh, but he missed out there. But Kofi Kingston, however, was still able to capitalize. There's the SOS. Shoulders down to retain and a kick out of two. Chaos is ensuing here in this tag team contest. Keep your eyes on Kofi. Went for trouble in paradise. There's a super kick. Super kick to the face of Kofi Kingston. And now Giovanni Vinci is going to make the tag. In comes Kaiser. And Imperium with the double team. Assisted power slam. Will it be enough to win the titles? No. There's Xavier Woods breaking things up. Oh, and Woods just got plotted. Xavier Woods just got taken care of. And now this could be Imperium's moment. Imperium looking to make Gunther proud. Nice double team again. 
And could that be it? Could that be enough? Do we have new champions? No! Kingston kicked out. Imperium came within a one count of becoming tag team champions. Draw breaking by Kofi. And now Kofi trying to battle back. There's a neck breaker. And Kofi trying to rally the WWE Universe here in Nashville. Vinci is picked back up to a vertical base. And he gets sent right into the official. Snap there, take down by Kofi Kingston. And there's a neck snap to follow. The New Day are rolling. Giovanni Vinci with the counter and what a distance close line. For the tag team titles, another near fall. Tag made in comes Kaiser. And a tag on the other side. Back in comes Xavier Woods. And Woods with a full steam of momentum. Missed out with that second forearm. And Kaiser takes advantage by scraping Woods' face on the rope. Oh, and well now look at this. Going right after the arm of Xavier Woods. WWE Universe trying to rally behind the New Day who look to preserve their over 100 day title reign. Sky high by Kaiser, and he almost had Woods. Woods though was able to raise the shoulder in time. But now look with Kaiser. Air raid crash. And that could be it, cover on Woods. Oh my goodness. The resilient Xavier Woods remains in this tag team match. And now Woods is being picked back up to his feet. And Ludwig Kaiser sends him into the corner. Tag back to Vinci. And Imperium with the double team once more. Assisted airway crash. Xavier Still trying to get back to his feet. And he caught the leg of Giovanni Vinci. Here comes Woods. Fireball punch. Xavier Woods with a second win here tonight. Woods looking for the honor roll. Vinci able to get out of the way. And now Woods is being set up. Look at the strength. Power bomb by Giovanni Vinci, and that could be enough, but Kofi caught him with the knee. Vinci went to knock Kofi off of the apron, Kofi caught him with the knee, and there's another shot to the face. And now Kofi Kingston trying to buy Xavier Woods some valuable time here to regroup. And it paid off, Woods is back to his feet. Vertical suplex. And Woods follows up. Springboard splash right to the spine. And as Woods closing in, Xavier Woods lying in wait. Went to end it, but Giovanni Vinci blocked whatever Woods had in mind. And there's some shots right to the midsection. Vinci with the open palm strike. Springboard moonsault by Vinci. And Kofi's knocked off of the apron. And now he changes focus back to Xavier. Giovanni Vinci again. Looking for the power bomb and he connects. Cover on Woods for the titles. And oh, Imperium have done it. We have new Tag Team Champions! Here are your winners and the new WWE Tag Team Champions! Giovanni Vinci and Ludwig Kaiser!
Women's Championship. We are back here at SummerSlam, and it's now time for Women's Division action. There is the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Wanda Rousey. And she has set the challenge Oscar for the World Women's Championship here tonight. We have not seen the World Women's Champion Oscar since Rousey attacked her on Monday Night Raw. And this past Monday night, Wanda Rousey attacked Kyrie Sane after her matchup with her. And all that is going to do is fire up the Empress. Well, it seems like Oscar is here tonight. There is the Empress, the Raw Women's Champion, Oscar. And it was at the Clash of the Castle Premium Live event when Oscar became the Raw Women's Champion. And what a dominant champion she has been here in Universe Mode. Tonight she defends against the baddest woman on the planet, Wanda Rousey. At Hell in a Cell, Oscar was able to successfully defend her championship against Shayna Baszler inside the cell. And then the night after a Monday Night Raw, Oscar was set up by Shayna Baszler, who brought in her close friend, Ronda Rousey, to attack Oscar from behind. And that is what leads us to tonight. Oscar is about to defend the Raw Women's Championship against the baddest woman on the planet. And the Oscar's gonna kill you chance ring out throughout the arena here in Nashville. Introducing the challenger from Venice Beach, California, the baddest woman on the planet, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. And introducing the champion from Osaka, Japan, the Raw Women's Champion, Oscar. A different look here tonight for Oscar, and I know that face paint when I see it. I think Ronda Rousey is in a bad place to be here tonight. She shouldn't have attacked Kyrie Sane this past Monday night on Raw because it seems that Rousey has awoken the monster inside of the Raw Women's Champion. Rousey's in for a rude awakening here this evening. We are underway. Raw Women's title on the line. And Rousey, right out of the gate, went after Oscar. Oscar, though, able to duck underneath. And Oscar, oh my god! Oscar just caught Rousey in midair. And here comes the Raw Women's Champion, already showcasing her striking ability. Oh, what a kick! Right to the skull of the challenger. And now Oscar switching focus to the leg of Rousey. Trying to keep the baddest woman on the planet grounded. Smart strategy by the champion. And now Oscar hooks the arm. And there's a suplex. Rousey went back to her feet and she gets driven into the corner. Oscar in firm control as we get on the way here. But now Rousey trying to fight back. Here comes the strike from the baddest woman on the planet. Oscar trips her up. And just like that, Oscar's back in control. Big forearm though by Rousey. And there's a gut punch by Oscar in response. And oh, the poison missed. And a punk kick right to the skull of Rousey. And when it seems the referee will let that slide, Referee's discretion, and now the octopus stretch is locked in. It would be a massive disappointment if the matchup ended right there, and I think the referee knew that. 
And so he's letting the matchup continue. Rousey on the fight out. Separation now made. And here comes Rousey trying to fight back. But again, Oscar takes her off her feet. And there's a drop kick right to the back. And this matchup thus far has been shocking. I have never seen Rousey dominated like this before. This is certainly a sight to see. As now Oscar sends Rousey into the corner. And Oscar with a running bulldog. The WWE Universe are firmly behind the War Women's Champion. Oscar signaling for the hip attack. Rousey's back up to her feet. Oscar's ready. Rousey though reverses. And oh! Devastating strikes there by Rousey. And now Oscar's set up. Piper's pit. Do we have a new War Women's Champion? No! Kick out at one. And Rousey can't believe it. Piper's pit and only a one count for the baddest woman on the planet. And Rousey, I think, may have been looking to set up the armbar. Oscar, though, with a flurry of strikes. Oh, my goodness. Down goes Rousey. And now Rousey's in a bad way. Oscar looking to put this one away. Looking to end it, but Rousey counters. And there's a big close line. And Oscar is picked back up to her feet. Rousey sets her up. And look at the strength. Oh, what a power bomb. Oscar though kicks away the challenger. And Rousey trying to get back up to her feet. Oscar though with the hip attack. What a matchup thus far. It has basically been all Oscar. And Oscar again went for the hip attack. Rousey this time. No, Oscar lands on her feet. Oh, what a kick. And now Rousey sent into the corner once again. Hip attack by Oscar. And Oscar could be closing in on retaining her title. This could be unprecedented. Again, I have never seen Ronda Rousey get dominated like this before. Oh, what a kick by Oscar. Ronda Rousey may have just been knocked unconscious. Here's the cover, and she got it. No, wait. The referee, the referee just called off the pinfall. Rousey had her hand on the rope. Rousey grabbed a hold of the bottom rope, and the referee caught it at the last second. And now Oscar gets caught with a back elbow. Close line by Rousey. And again, Oscar caught Rousey out of the air. Oscar, look. The War Women's Champion looking to make Rousey tap out in the center of the ring. What a victory this could be for Oscar. But Rousey's hanging on in there. Rousey not giving in. And she manages to fight out. And now Ronda Rousey sets up Oscar. Gut wrench powerball for the victory. Do we have a new War Women's Champion? Shoulders are down. Oh, Oscar kicked out. Oscar remaining in this matchup. But Ronda Rousey is back into this. Oh, what a forearm. Forearm right to the face of Oscar, and there's a kick to follow. And Rousey taking a page out of Shayna Baszler's playbook. And now she looks to put Oscar away, but Oscar trying to block the arm ball. Oscar down on one knee. Now she's back up to both feet. And Oscar with the strikes. And there's a German suplex. The WWE Universe firmly behind the champion. Rousey though with the reversal. And look at these strikes from Rousey. 
Oh, Oscar went to the gut. And again went for the Oscar look. Rousey trying to go up to the arm. There's a forearm by Oscar. Spinning back kick. And Rousey rolls back up to her feet. And oh, she missed out with the Inzaguri. Able to counter though. Back and forth again between these two women. Raw Women's Championship on the line. Elbow went to the arm. And Rousey could be closing in. Ronda Rousey lining up the Raw Women's Champion. Again though, Oscar one step ahead. Oh, what a kick. Roundhouse kick went to the skull. Rousey could be out of it. And she is. Oscar retains her title. What a match. Here is your winner and still the Raw Women's Champion, Oscar. Oscar brought out her inner demons here tonight to retain against Ronda Rousey. Rousey made a crucial mistake, and Oscar remains Raw Women's Champion. What a matchup. We are back here at SummerSlam. More in-ring action is on the way, as here comes the Viper. Randy Orton is in the building, and he is set for action. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri, weighing in at 250 pounds, the Viper, Randy Orton. For a full month, we have seen cryptic messages. We later found out that those messages were directed to the Viper. And three weeks ago on Friday Night Smackdown, upon the realization, Randy had enough, and he called out the man behind the cryptic messages, none other than Bray Wyatt. Tonight, Randy Orton is set to go one-on-one -on -one with the Fiend. Of course, a lot of issues between Orton and Wyatt dating back to WrestleMania a few years ago when Bray Wyatt was cost a matchup thanks to Alexa Bliss. Bray Wyatt has not forgotten the torment that Randy Orton put him through, setting the Fiend on fire and putting down the Fiend, or at least we thought. At WrestleMania tonight, the rivalry is renewed. Orton, Wyatt, one on one. Randy Orton is ready to go, and here comes the Fiend. It has been quite some time since we have seen that sight. The Fiend is back.
I hope Randy Orton is ready because this may just be the most physical battle he has ever been a part of. Randy Orton failed to put down the Fiend at WrestleMania and now he is back for revenge. We are about to be underway here at SummerSlam. Wyatt versus Orton one more time. This will end the rivalry between these two and we are underway. And look at this stare down. And Wyatt with a headbutt. Right to the chest of Alden. And the power is about to be put on display, my goodness. Alden just got plotted into the canvas. Blood spilling out of the mouth of the Fiend. And now Alden trying to fight back. Wyatt though catches him with a shot. And there's an uppercut. Alden gets sent into the corner for a splash. Down goes the Viper. And now Bray Wyatt in control. Sent on right to the midsection. And the Fiend is rolling. Orton now being picked back up to a vertical base. And now Bray Wyatt sends him against the ropes. Went for the close line. Orton countered. And now from behind, Sido Suplex. Taking down the Fiend. But Bray Wyatt right back on top. Forearms right to the face of Randy Orton. And now Bray Wyatt. No, Orton counters for the crossbody. Back and forth between these two. And Wyatt gets sent into the corner. Big shot to the face. And there's another uppercut. And a second one for good measure. Randy Orton catches a headbutt again in the chest. And now Bray just choking Orton. No remorse from the Fiend. This has already been a hell of a physical battle thus far. Orton again plotted into the canvas. Ray Wyatt in firm control of the match up at hand, but Orton trips him up. And now Orton laying into the Fiend. The Grand Orton doesn't put down the Fiend for good tonight. Oh my God, what's going on? The Fiend just like that. Back up to his feet. Saido suplex. But as I was saying, if Orton does not put down the Fiend tonight for good, then this could be the end of Randy Orton. Oh my God, what a close line. The Fiend just an unrelenting monster. And he's not going to give up. This matchup could go for ages. I don't think Bray Wyatt wants to put this away. Alden though trying to fight back. As is the Fiend now. And now Alden. Oh, gets hit with the Uranagi. And Bray Wyatt again looking for Sister Abigail maybe. Wyatt just lying in wait. Measuring Randy Alden. Alden though catches him with a knee. And here comes the Viper. Building momentum. Snap power slam. Vintage. Randy Alden. And now the Fiend is picked back up to his feet. Alden looking for something. But Bray Wyatt's able to block. And now Wyatt with some shots right to the midsection of Randy Alden. just rake the eye. Randy Orton getting desperate. And there's a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. 
Gordon now, thanks to the oil rake, is in the driver's seat, but can he put the fiend away? And Alden looking for a suplex. There's an elbow by Bray Wyatt. Right into another Yurinagi. And usually it's Randy hearing the voices in his head, but the Fiend has got some voices of his own. And they are telling him to hurt Randy Orton tonight. Alden gone, end of the counter. And there's a shot right to the back. And now Alden pounding on the canvas. He's hearing the voices. RKO. Will it be enough? Here's the trouble of the Fiend. And the Fiend stays in it. It's going to take more than that to put down this monster. What else does Randy Orton have to give the Fiend Bray Wyatt tonight? Big shot there in the corner. And now Wyatt, Sister Abigail, out of nowhere to put down Randy Orton. And Orton stays alive. Fight forever chance for Bray Wyatt and Randy Orton. As these two men jockey for position. Wyatt from behind now. Rip caught Larian. Turning Alden inside out. And now Randy picked up onto the shoulders and plotted. There's a sent on. And the Fiend back in control. The elbows just raining down to the chest of the Viper. It may just be a matter of time before Randy Orton falls to Bray Wyatt. Orton though still fighting. He is not giving up lightly. Wyatt again though from behind. What on earth was that? That was like a half Nelson Urinagi. I have never seen that from Bray Wyatt before. And now Alden being set up. Oh, and he just got planted face first. Wyatt with the gore buster. And there's another uppercut. Alden driven into the corner. And Bray Wyatt just choking him. Choking the life force out of the Viper. Alden with a kick to the back. And again, Randy, trying to build a head of steam. Went for the knee, Wyatt got out of the way. Oh, and there's a shot right to the spine. And an uppercut to follow. And listen to the roar of the crowd here at SummerSlam. Bray Wyatt. A third Uranagi to Alden. And now the Fiend looking to put down Randy Alden. Mandible Claw. The Mandible Claw is in. Bray Wyatt ready to end it. Randy though is still holding on. Randy Alden not giving up, not giving in. And what a drop kick. The Fiend though went back up to a vertical base. Alden with the first press. Alden just unloading. And again Wyatt trying to make it back up to his feet. Randy boy, wait a minute. Oh, he went for the pop. All the way for the punt kick. Sister Abigail by the Fiend. Come on. It's over. The Fiend Bray Wyatt gets his revenge. Here is your winner, the Fiend. Bray Wyatt. The Fiend Bray Wyatt gets his revenge at SummerSlam.
Welcome back everyone to SummerSlam, the biggest event of the summer. And it's time for some more tag team action, as here come the Judgment Day. The following contest is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring. Accompanied by Rhea Ripley at a combined weight of 439 pounds. Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the Judgment Day. Well, Finn Balor has been trying to recruit AJ Styles to the Judgment Day, and he has failed. AJ Styles has said he wants nothing to do with Finn Balor and the Judgment Day, so Balor attacked his former friend, AJ Styles, forcing Styles to get some backup. And that backup came in the form of Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC reforming to battle the Judgment Day here this evening. Rhea Ripley, of course, lost the SmackDown Women's title this past Friday night to Alba Fire, who cashed in her Money in the Bank contract. And their opponents, accompanied by the phenomenal AJ Styles, at a combined weight of 574 pounds, the OC. And there are all the OC, AJ Styles. Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows reunited as one. This is tag team warfare if I've ever seen it. The Judgment Day versus the OC here tonight at SummerSlam. And AJ Styles looks to finally rid himself of the thorn in his side. And that form has been Finn Balor and the Judgment Day. It all ends tonight between these two tag teams as they collide head to head. Our second tag team matchup of the evening is about to be underway. And Damian Priest will start things off with Carl Anderson. There's the bell. We are now underway. And Anderson out of the game with the Spinebuster, I think. But Damian Priest saw it coming. And now Priest showcasing his strength. Oh, Anderson just got planted. And now Anderson gets sent into the corner. Priest went for the splash. Nobody home. And here's Cole Anderson with some big strikes. Backing Priest into the corner momentarily. And now Priest gets hit with some snake eyes and there's a boot to follow. Cole Anderson is rolling early on as he puts the boots to the Archer of Infamy. Anderson firing up here tonight at SummerSlam as he kicks off this tag team contest. Went for the roundhouse kick, Priest with a couple of kicks of his own. And now looking to follow up. Anderson though, oh, stomps right on the foot of Damian Priest. And there's a slap to the back of the skull. And now looking for a power ball. Priest able to counter. And now it's Priest with the boots. Right to the chest of the machine gun. Anderson now sent into the corner of the Judgment Day tag mate. In comes the Prince, Finn Balor. Rolling Fireman's carry slam by Priest. And there's a double foot stomp by Balor. And the Judgment Day, just like that, have turned the tables on the OC. Oh, Anderson just got spiked. And look at Balor taking it to Anderson. Paul Anderson has a singles victory over Finn Balor. From this past Friday night on SmackDown. And Anderson again looking for the spine boss that catches a DDT instead. Great counter there by Balor. Oh, 
Good shot went to the chest. Balor now with a snap there, takedown. And a drop kick to the back of the head. The Judgment Day are in control right now. Can the OC bounce back? There's an insecurity by Anderson. Spinning back kick to the chest. Anderson looking for something. Balor though rolls through. Into a pinning predicament on Anderson. Kick out at one. And now Luke Gallows sends Priest to the outside of the ring. Meanwhile, Anderson blocked the kick by Balor, and there's a slap to the back of his head. Inzaguri once again. And now Anderson setting up Balor. Oh, and he turns him inside out. Covered by Anderson for the victory. And a kick out at two. The OC getting closer to that victory. As now Balor gets sent into the corner. And there's a tag to Luke Gallows. And Anderson, oh, sending Balor right into the boot of the big LG. Tag made, back in comes Damian Priest. And there's a short right to the face of Luke Gallows. A couple of kicks, missed out with the third. And there's the power of Luke Gallows. Balor over the knee to the skull. And Damian Priest with a super kick. Priest capitalizing on the moment. Atomic drop to follow. And again, the boots went to the chest this time of Luke Gallows. And now Gallows in the corner. Priest looking to set him up for Balor maybe, but there's a neck breaker. Counter by Gallows. And Gallows looking for the choke slam. Priest with the elbow. And Priest looking for the south of heaven. Gallows with an elbow. Back and forth between these two. Alabama slam. No, Damian Priest. Oh my word. What power on display right there. Here's the cover by Priest. And he almost had the match up one. Priest a one count away from putting away the OC. And now Priest looking for the reckoning. Elbow by Gallows. And Gallows sends Priest into the corner. Tag made. In comes Cole Anderson. And the OC looking for it. Magic killer. Will that be enough to put down the judgment day? Here's the cover. Shoulders down. In comes Valerie. Breaks things up. Four on to the back of the Prince. And that's a European uppercut to follow. Balor just got wiped out. And now Priest could be in some trouble. Anderson went with the gun stun. Priest caught him out with a power slam. And now Damian Priest setting up Anderson for the reckoning. But Anderson also counters it with an elbow. And there's a pump kick to the chest. Anderson now lining up Damian Priest. Priest though into the counter. Roundhouse kick. Went to the back of the skull. And Anderson is set up. Damian Priest with the reckoning. He hit it. And here's the cover. The judgment day for the win. Gallows makes the save. And Priest are going to take out Gallows, but there's an elbow to the skull. Priest wipes out Gallows. And now Priest turning his attention back to Cole Anderson. There's a kick though to the gut. And Anderson trying to battle back. Kick to the gut once again. And the rocket kick wipes out Priest. Could that be enough? The OC for the win. Oh, and there's Battle. Once again, making the save, Gunston. The Gunston just took out Balor. And the machine gun is fired up. And Damian Priest could suffer the same fate. Gunston. In the cover. 
Shoulders down on Damian Priest. The OC get the victory. Here are your winners. The OC. The OC are victorious here at SummerSlam. It is over. The Thorn in style side has been vanquished here this evening. Congratulations to the OC. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Universal Championship. We are back here tonight at SummerSlam and we are ready for SmackDown's main event. It's time for the Universal Championship match between this man, the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, and the Scottish warrior, Drew McIntyre. Two weeks ago on Friday Night SmackDown, Drew McIntyre came out to the ring to address the WWE Universe. However, he was attacked before he could do so by this man. The following week, McIntyre called out Karrion Cross and challenged him to a matchup here tonight at SummerSlam for the Universal Championship. Karrion Cross accepted, of course, because he wants his hands on that championship. Cross and McIntyre here in SmackDown's main event at the biggest event of the summer. Darian Cross is all fired up as he approaches his biggest matchup today for the Universal Championship. What a main event for the blue brand this is going to be. Darian Cross is ready to go. Looking to bring Doomsday to SummerSlam. Will tonight mark the end of the title reign of the Scottish Warrior? There is the reigning defending Universal Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre won the Universal title in his home nation of the United Kingdom at Clash at the Castle. And he has remained a dominant champion ever since. Tonight though, could very well mark the end of the title reign of McIntyre. Karrion Cross is a very dangerous individual. He has all the tools that he needs to defeat Drew McIntyre here this evening for the Universal title. McIntyre though firing up as we prepare to witness the Universal Championship match here at SummerSlam. And wait a minute, Karrion Cross from behind. Are you kidding me? Karrion Cross assaulting McIntyre before the bell. How desperate can you get? 
McIntyre just got clawed and there's a forearm right to the skull. And now carry across, having his way with the champion. Oh my God. The forearms just raining down on the Scottish warrior. The bell has not yet sounded. We are not underway yet. We have just got a brawl before the bell. Who knows if this matchup is even going to take place at this point. Carrion Cross has lost it. He's incensed. Boot went to the chest. And the WWE Universe letting Cross have it. Doomsday Saido. The bell has still not yet sounded. The referee at ringside. And oh my goodness. Shoulder tackle in the corner. Carrying Cross continuing the assault. But now McIntyre trying to fight back. And here comes the champion. Drew McIntyre letting Cross have it. There's a kick right to the back of the leg. And a knee to the skull. And Carrion Cross winding up for the cross hammer. McIntyre may not have a clue where he's at. Cross looking for the cross jacket, but McIntyre fends him off. And now McIntyre hooks the arms. Future shot DDT. Carrion Cross just got spiked. And just like that, McIntyre is poised. Claymore. The Claymore connects, but McIntyre can't cover him. The matchup's not even started yet. The bell has not yet sounded. And now McIntyre with the Universal title in hand. And there's the bell. Cross with a shot right to the face. And now carrying Cross. Plotting McIntyre. Got Rich Powerbomb. First cover in this match. And it was almost over. We almost had a new Universal Champion just like that. And now McIntyre lands a shot across. Shawbreaker though by the challenger. And now McIntyre being set up. Oh, and there's that power bomb for a second time. Will it be enough? No. McIntyre still in this. Cross may again have been looking for the cross jacket. McIntyre went for a boot. And now McIntyre gets hit with another Doomsday Saido. And the referee disposing of the championship. Carrion Cross looking to end it. McIntyre catches him with an elbow. Claymore for a second time. And this one could be over quick. Here's the cover by McIntyre. Carrion Cross somehow stays in it. This has been a crazy matchup thus far, all because of the attack before the bell. And now McIntyre setting up for the Celtic Cross. Reversal though by the challenger. And now there's an order by Suplex. Carrion Cross bridges into the cover. New champion though. McIntyre again pops that shoulder up. And cross again with the cross hammer. And now looking to cinch it in. The cross jacket on Drew McIntyre. And are we about to crown a new Universal Champion here at SummerSlam? Drew McIntyre's trying to fight it. He's trying to stay in this. But he could be fading. McIntyre though escapes. McIntyre survives the cross jacket. And what a flurry of strikes there by the champion. Black hole slam. And look at McIntyre unloading. Giving it right to carry across. McIntyre's feeling it. 
WWE Universe behind him. Went for the Glasgow Kiss. Cross over the counter. Oh, fall away slam. Launching McIntyre. And now Cross again in position. Went for the clothesline. Got caught by McIntyre. And now McIntyre lying in wait. Measuring Cross Glasgow Kiss. What a headbutt. Celtic Cross to follow. To retain the championship. Cross kicks out. This matchup continues. But now McIntyre's looking to up the ante from the top one. Oh, nobody home for the leg drop. And there's another Northern Lights suplex. Carrion Cross feeling good right now. And he sends McIntyre to the outside. Scarlet lifts McIntyre back up to his feet. And Carrion Cross is going to reap the reward. McIntyre gets sent back into the ring. And now Cross looking to end it. Roundhouse kick, no. McIntyre reversed it. Claymore on the rebound to the woods. Cover to retain the Universal title. McIntyre got him. McIntyre remains the champion. Here is your winner. And still, the WWE Universal Champion, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre proving what a warrior he is. An uphill battle tonight for the Universal Champion, but he still prevails. McIntyre remains the WWE Universal Champion. What a match. What a crazy turn of events from the attack before the bell to a successful title defense for the Scottish Warrior. Welcome back everyone to SummerSlam. It's now time for the WWE Championship match. And here comes Samoa Joe. The former enforcer of the WWE Champion, Chris Jericho. Things went awry, however, three weeks ago on Monday Night War, when Chris Jericho called out Samoa Joe for not helping him in his title defense against John Cena. In that matchup, Robert Roode also cashed in his Money in the Bank contract. Chris Jericho's title reign was in severe jeopardy, and Samoa Joe was nowhere to be seen. Jericho took out his frustration by punching Joe right in the face on Monday Night Raw three weeks ago, and that is what spurred on this matchup here tonight. Samoa Joe looking to become WWE Champion here at SummerSlam. And here he comes, the WWE Champion, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho has remained WWE Champion throughout the season here in Universe Mode. But tonight is his toughest task to date. Samoa Joe has been gunning to get his hands on Chris Jericho since Chris Jericho punched him in the face three weeks ago. And tonight, Chris Jericho has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. He must defend the WWE title against the Samoan submission machine here at SummerSlam. 
We very well could be looking at the end of Chris Jericho's title reign. This is our main event here tonight for Monday Night Raw. WWE Championship on the line as Y2J defends against Samoa Joy. Introducing the challenger from Huntington Beach, California, weighing in at 282 pounds, Samoa Joe. And introducing the champion from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, weighing in at 248 pounds, he is the WWE Champion. Chris Jericho! It has been 42 days since Chris Jericho became WWE Champion at Money in the Bank when Samoa Joe assisted Jericho in defeating Batista. And now tonight, Chris Jericho must defend the WWE Championship against the man that helped him win it in the Samoan submission machine. Here we go, we're underway. And Jericho went for a punch right out of the gate, but here comes Samoa Joe, what a combination. A swing and a miss by the champion and Samoa Joe takes advantage. Oh, but there's a kick right to the face. And Jericho getting out of the ring and he's trying to bait Samoa Joe to the outside. Samoa Joe, of course, filled with frustration and anger. He has been unable to get his hands on Joe since Samoa Joe got punched in the face at the hands of Jericho. And right now, the champion is in control. Oh, there's a boot right to the chest. And Samoa Joe, a moment ago, went right into the announce table and Jericho now in control, thanks to that. Both men back into the ring, forearm by the challenger. And now Samoa Joe targeting the leg of Jericho, utilizing the bottom rope for extra punishment. And Joe continuing to go after the leg of Jericho. And there's a stomp. Right to the midsection of the champion. Samoa Joe back in control as he lifts Jericho back to his feet. Inverted atomic drop. Big boot to the chest. And there's a sent on to follow. Cover now to become WWE Champion. Kick out at one. Still early days in this contest as now Joe switches focus to the arm of the WWE Champion. Jericho though kicks him away. And Jericho beginning to unload. Joe though blocks the forearm. And look at the strikes from the proficient striker Samoa Joe. German suplex the follow. The WWE Universe are firmly behind the challenger. And he could be closing in right here. There's a couple of close lines. Jericho misses wildly into the power slam. And Samoa Joe is rolling. Jericho again lifted back up to his feet. Big forearm. Drunk it to follow. And Chris Jericho's got something going right now. Quickening the match pace is the WWE Champion. But now Samoa Joe again utilizing those proficient strikes. My God. Another great striking combination. And now the STF is locked in. Submission maneuver by Joe. Looking to make Jericho tap out in the center of the ring. Do we have a new WWE Champion? Jericho though, able to escape. Separation made between these two. And Jericho unloading. As Joe is sent into the corner. Back elbow though finds its mark. 
Jericho is stunned. And now Joe, no, Jericho reverses. And all this and strength on display by Jericho. And there's the Lion Soul. Come on to retain. Shoulders down, kick out two. Near fall there for Jericho. And Jericho is doing a lot better than I expected. Code wake up. Will that be enough to retain the WWE Championship? Another near fall. Samoa Joe remaining alive in this WWE Championship match. And Jericho's going to look for another code break off. Two might be enough, but Samoa Joe says, I don't think so. Jericho just got planted. And now Joe, why did the clutch? Coquina clutch locked in. And Jericho's in trouble. He could be fading. Jericho could be fading. We may have a new champion right here. But Jericho trying to break free. And he does. Jericho somehow survives the Coquina clutch. Oh, double underhook DDT. And here's the cover. Jericho again trying to retain, but Samoa Joe kicks out at two. And Jericho comes off the ropes, went for the boot. Samoa Joe in for the counter. And Jericho catches a chop in the corner, and there's a second one. And uh-oh. Check out the power. Oh, buckle ball. Spine burst into the turnbuckle goes Jericho. And Samoa Joe now lying in wait, measuring Jericho. Big boot to the chest. He just turned Jericho inside out. And now he's looking for the Coquina clutch. This time Jericho knew it was coming. Oh, leg sweep off the collision. Jericho could not capitalize. Back elbow to Samoa Joe. And Jericho getting desperate. He's trying to roll up Joe for the victory. And Joe stays in it. Samoa Joe picked back up to a vertical base. Jericho with more strikes. And now Joe sent back into the corner. Jericho looking for something big. Oh, what a forearm. And Samoa Joe is dazed. Jericho looking for a superplex, and he connects. Could that be enough to put down the Samoan submission machine? Here's the cover on Joe, and he almost had him. Not quite enough, though, to keep that WWE Championship around his waist. Big clothesline. And Samoa Joe getting right back up. Jericho with a boot to the chest. And again, Joe getting back up to his feet. Yeah. And uh oh, Joe called him. Urinagi for the WWE title. Shoulders down. Oh my goodness, I thought he had him for a second. Jericho, though, remaining in this matchup. Running STO now by the Samoan submission machine. And again, looking for the Coquina clutch. Can he get it cinched in for a second time? No, Jericho caught him with an elbow. And now from behind, no, Joe, with an elbow of his own. And Samoa Joe full steam ahead. Big kick right to the back of the skull. Jericho could be out of it. And Joe with the Coquina clutch. Squeezing the life out of Chris Jericho. Jericho has nowhere to go, and he taps out. We have a new WWE Champion. Here is your winner, and the new WWE Champion, Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe is champion.